Hey, buddy. Camping? Hey, you camping? Did a quick and dirty setup. Tents up, stove installed. Gotta run out of here, go get my uh, son at daycare, bring him home, and then come back out and camp for the night with the buddies. Try to get rid of some of this snow inside the tent. We got about a foot of snow right now, not tons. Maybe eight inches. Just getting ready to light up the stove. I got a brick in the back there, but I didn't have any false bottom or more bricks so I uh, put some green wood in the front that'll work good what's happening so I just got back to the tent get ready to light up the stove don't have I brought we're not very far from the vehicle for this one so uh, you saw there's uh, four tents total so three other tents were six people including me um, Everyone's got their own stuff, which is awesome. And yeah, we're not very far from the vehicle, so we got good setups, lots of gear. I brought a cot, an actual chair, um, but nothing's really set up yet. So first things first, start the stove, get it nice and uh, comfortable in here. And then after that, we'll uh, set up all the gear, the bed, take my sleeping bag out and stuff, and then Go hang out with uh, the guys, they're all outside by the fire. So, all right, let's get this thing lit up. Actually brought a little bit of seasoned birch. Birch is a nice hardwood and when you dry it, it burns really good. Out here, um, if I cut my own wood, it would be like spruce or poplar, that'd be dry. But the birch that's seasoned, it'll give me Give me some nice coals for the for the night. One birch, actually, one birch, um, one birch like dries on its own in the woods. It's not split, so the the bark keeps all the moisture, and it rots. Eh? You can't really get like wild seasoned birch. Which is really bizarre. And up north here, we don't have that many different types of hardwoods. Brought some cheating newspaper. <sighs> hey, it works good. And then this is just some balsam fir twigs. Pinch in there. Light it up. My good old Nyko stove with Boreal Outdoor Innovations, stainless steel tab, stainless steel uh, tablet, stainless steel shelf, and I got actually got a brand new chimney for this guy. The Nyko stove, I didn't like the chimney, um, so I got a Great West Metal chimney, telescopic, works awesome. That goes really high. Alright, we got the fire going. Throw a bit of wood in there. Go cut a bit more wood. Kindling and stuff. And 
get this all set up for the night. Got some food to cook too. Getting my cot set up. It's already getting toasty in here and I got the door wide open. Gonna take some layers off. This thing's set up. Sides a little bit lower, so that'll be my feet, head, Nyko Alaskan stove. Lots of room in here, the door. Lots of room here for a chair, even another cot. All my wood, my gear, have it all on this side. Perfect. First actual winter camp of the season, awesome. Not very far, but still a winter camp. First winter camp in the Cree model, 8th to 10th, 12 by 15, awesome. Tried it in the backyard, but didn't actually camp with it. Sleeping bag. Oh, and I actually brought a real legitimate pillow. Freaking perfect. Brought a little bit of beer too, so once I got this set up, I'll pop a beer and go see the guys outside. Extra shirt. Throw this one on. Woo! Hello! Sweet! Oh, an extra tensioner. Actually, I'll go set it up. I gotta tighten my cords a little bit. I figured out which uh, cords I actually have to um, tension first. It took me only like half an hour to set it up. I was going quick, but I don't have all the cords. You can actually get away with about half of the the ropes and the strings. And uh, for a quick overnight setup, that's fine. But if you're really long term, then you can put all of them. I think there's like 16 or 18 total tension or ropes on this tent. But I got only got like eight or nine right now. Hey buddy, you wanna come in? You wanna come in? Little dog. <laughs> awesome. You wanna come in, buddy? Hey buddy. Nothing crazy. Kale Kenny Irish cream ale. Cheers. To the first 2021. Ah! First 2021 winter camp. Oh, what do you guys think about the mustache? Keep or no keep? Had it for November. It's like December 3rd today. Still have it, still rocking. Guys seem to like it. Girls are not so much. So let me know in the comments. What do you think? Keep the mustache? Don't keep the mustache? Go back full beard? I don't know. Brought my beer here.
And fucking, he's been making these, and he just sends it out. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. It came from the UK, and it came fast. I was like, holy fuck, that came fast. <laughs> piece of moose, Steve, what do you got? I leave the box of burgundy. Oh, no, no, there's none left. And I was like, fuck, my bloody gear. Mm -hmm. But I got the feeling that he was so busy that it just, my gear just hung. Steak. Haven't had supper yet. See what's nice with this uh, shelf. Take it off the fire. Cooler heat. Sweet. She get some water going for some pasta or something. What time is it? It's 9:37 already. Yeah, maybe I'll get a bit of water boiling. Make some more food. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Puppies, Alpine Air. Foods, creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms. That'll be good with the steak. I gotta add two cups of boiling water. Let it stand for 10, 12 minutes. Take this thing out. The Morris bush pot on the fire. Perfect. I'm eating! It's like, you guys go to bed? I'm eating! <laughs> yeah, I'll just crush this steak and then wait for the water to boil and eat the noodles after. When you buy a BMW here, it's not the same what you buy in Germany. A lot really? of people think it's the same, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's just stopped, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's dangerous. <laughs> Even in Germany. Ooh. Sask on top of the fucking looking down. Okay. That would be a really nice because the grade. Yeah, this this is, he's beaten all the he's like all the rules of hypothermia, like the three minute you know when you go in and things and, and better health, but uh, what does it do to you though? Like a cold shower. How cold is the in the lake? It's a little bit colder well, than that. Well, <laughs> uh -huh. So Well I, I mean know. he's he he's climbed Everest in shorts. Well guys, have a good night. It's past midnight, so guys all went back to the respective tents and uh yeah, I'll have a good night. Stoked up the stove nice. <sighs> See you in the morning. He's toasty this morning. Trying to get this water to boil for coffee. Oh. 
morning. Drink in some water. First thing in the morning, hydrate. Got uh, water almost boiling. Coffee. Coffee, buddy. Eight to Cree 12 by 15. Put in a bunch of those and get well, six out. About three thirty. Add a little bit more. Yeah, it's just a. That's pretty clever. Just a home hardware Howdy. box. Hardest. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Yeah. Because otherwise it's too. Yeah. Well, oh, they say like a baby. It doesn't burn through. It's something more like a dog. Like, like a dog. Sleep good. good. No, yeah. Baby's no not so much. Well, there's no box. <laughs> there's no box. <laughs> yeah. It's a cast for people's ideas. Exactly. That's what makes bushcraft go around. Credit, credits do, you know. Be oh, a, how did you sleep? <laughs> what? How did you sleep? A humble place. Really good. Good. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. How was the active last night? Good. Yeah. Lots of room. Like we were. Well, yeah. Like we were doing like some this morning. <laughs> be like, oh, I'm gonna stretch her out. <laughs> yeah. One guy in there. Yeah, it's kind of lonely on your own though. Oh, <laughs> it's too much room. You're like, oh. So the big stove that does the job, though. Yeah. How to cut wood without an axe or a saw. <laughs> or being lazy. <laughs> coffee this morning. I get this thing sorted out. Good coffee. Mm, throw a filter in here. Put one in there. Close this. Don't really have a table but a Rubbermaid tote. Even got some milk for my coffee. <laughs> Didn't come here to eat misery. Pas venu ici pour manger de la misère. Fill this up. Let it, let it go down naturally. Gravity. Secure the remaining coffee.
milk. It's Brudelé with ton café. You want a bit of milk with your coffee? Yeah, buddy. First coffee. Some oatmeal too. Rest of my water. Blueberry cinnamon flax. Cool. Three flax. Like winter camping, it's um, you realize that comfort is a lot about the little details. Like having a pillow, having a raised bed, you know, like having a spot to warm up, dry your clothes. Hot tents, that's how it's it's like. I did uh, cold winter camping, like I got a few videos, I think one video on my channel, the one that I have the most views was cold weather camping. That's like more a challenge for sure, like you get wet, like you gotta, you know, make a fire outside. If it's snowing, it's like almost impossible to dry your stuff, unless you have a big tarp or something. Like, like with these tents, that's what's awesome is like you can have anything like freezing rain, hot tent with the stove. You can have like freezing rain or rain or snow and as long as you got enough wood for your stove you're just like it in your house so this is a good like first cup of coffee in the morning I gotta show you the guys, there's John, you've seen him before a lot of my videos. And then there's Paul, there's Kelly, and there's Mike. And who there's two Mikes. Six of us total. Anyone's wondering, Boreal Outdoor Innovations. Little shelf for the Nyko stove. Awesome. Made in Canada. That was not tape, was it? You being recorded right now? Nope. I didn't agree, I didn't agree to anything. Last night, I tried to take some last night on the camera, so it's shitty on my phone. It was really neat, like there was a lantern on and a lantern on and a lantern on. And a lantern on and a lantern on. But then I saw someone else even doing like uh, like from start like from the sky yeah. at night. It was like why is not mine on? It's not that old. Yeah, I could use you can do that. It's so cool. Well, he said, I'm pretty sure they said there's supposed to be some type of lunar eclipse tonight. Oh, water, eh? Steam them a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Well, unless maybe they're, and they're so slow. Yeah. It's like, well, it's starting. It's starting. Okay, another three hours. It's <laughs> just like, like five minutes. That's badass. You just put them on there. <laughs> <laughs> Those eggs ready or not yet? Oh yeah, they're ready. Now we're just making some toast. Oh. Ah. Want to 
full zombie means it's ready. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it dries out. Yeah, and the hum moisture is what makes it stick, I guess. J-Mac, what size is your snow trekker? Um, it is the 10 by 13 short wall. 10 by 13 short wall. We got what, two cots, a table? Yeah. Sweet. Hey George, how are you doing? How are you doing? Snacks for the dog. He'll eat that up. Nom 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 nom. A little bacon fried egg. Dose, piece of toast. Everything. Bacon and eggs. Only the best when you're in the woods. You gotta be comfortable. You gotta be comfortable and gotta be well fed. Is it in the cooler? Time to pack up. Wish I could have stayed two nights, another night. But gotta work tomorrow. thing is like it's a lot of work to set up and take down but if you're staying longer it's nice because if you stay two nights or three nights those days where you leave your stuff set up you can actually do activities like go for hikes or catch rabbits or whatever I think that's what the guys are gonna do today try to catch some snowshoe hares trees in the way for our sleds for our trail chop away at it
Yeah. Well, that's the thing with these tents, like, and even stoves, like, people have ideas and then they find little tricks. See, I'll pop this. Grab the peak, grab your peak and then just pull it. There's other ways to get all that dirt. Like the other one, my kangoo tent, it's the same thingy, but when you're rolling, it's easier because there's only five of these sides. So then you do the five corners and it makes a nice triangle. Yep. And then you roll it. This is kind of the same idea, but it's just the middle's flat, so in the end I guess. It's... Well I mean, once you start rolling from this end, all that snow will dump out, right? Yeah. Do you want to fold the pole down and roll, the pole, roll it up around the pole because to get it taut, or we, we have to we have put the pole in? That's a good idea. Up. Never thought of that. That's what I do with mine. Uh, uh, probably not, because I'll just throw it in the bag and then. Yeah, see, this works well by pulling. Oh yeah. By pulling the the center, you have it nice and. Well, you don't dirty up the tent, right? That's yeah. Even if it sticks out of the bag, I mean, yeah, like, so you're gonna be pulling it when big, you get home. Anyways. Pretty big bag. Yeah, the actual chimney here doesn't fit inside the stove, but all the other stuff does, so... Stone... 
shell. See how this just kind of has these grooves on the stove. Pop it in the grooves. Simple setup. Put it in there. Throw that in the sled and we're good to go. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if uh, you would like. Subscribe for some more winter camping videos and whatnot. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. Cheers. Oh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I try to answer everyone best I can. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Good December. And, uh, yeah, stay safe. Cheers.